Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Uh, the last episode I recorded was actually with the new version which is dot twelve H, I think. Don't ask me what the H stands for. So I reckon that we can now update the um, quest database. So what you'd normally use, you'd sort of do slash BDQ there's a lot of messages there, don't ask me what those are. BQ admin and you can't type admin, BQ admin, and you can't type it. You press fill it out and press tab and nothing happens. So what you do is you go out here and then you open the game to LAN and allow the cheats on. I think that's all they have to do, start LAN world. And then we can do this command, I think. So it's BQ admin, good. And then you've got default and then you can do load. So now it says it's updated the quest database. Now we've got a new quest. So we can actually then close the land world, I think. Open to land. Oh, I can't close the land world. OK. I can quit and start again. I'm not going to do that. So if I, let's have a look at what we've now got for quote uh, for, for quests. Sorry. You've got this model at the top here where you can select different mo modes. You've got potato mode, normal mode and chet mode. I'm not sure what chet mode is but uh, what's it say? Cooldown false, simultaneous test false. Okay. In fact they're all the same. Don't ask me what the differences are. But we've got moon trance. Now moon trance has got one new quest in it by the looks of it and that's a sapling. And all I've got to do is click it and I think I claim a I get a sapling. Done. And I think this quest resets itself. We've got stars align, nothing new in that one. Elements, well, we've got this one to claim actually, because that's now completed. And crystallized, and this is where everything starts to get interesting. So here we have lots of new quests. This one might be very interesting. If I submit 6.7 billion RF, I'll get one cursed earth. I think we'll do that because that might help with my other bit. There's also um, a miner here, for an astro miner, looks like quite good. And we can also do this one here, that basically gives a crystal growth accelerator, which you've already got. But I don't see any point, I think we need to open the, up the next one. Draconian ingots, I think this one is. Again, it's 6.7 billion RF, and you can claim that one. Unstable ingots, I'm not sure I want to play with unstable ingots. Uh, maybe we do, maybe we don't. I've got a new quest here with nothing in it, and here we've got Martians. So if I su submit 67 billion RF, we can get all these spawns, and that might be quite useful. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, that was that one, that one, that one. Here we can get uh, some ca heart canisters, that might be quite nice, gives us a little bit of extra health. Actually, we haven't really needed health in this game pack. What have we got here? Endless water. I think this might be good as well. An accumulus aqueous accumulator. This one here is all the glory. That basically, <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that one. Just to get a reputation, which is only used on service anyway. Spaghetti. So we get a carbon bedrock drum when we submit 67 billion RF. Don't think I need that either, to be honest with you. Dracomi ingots, did we do that one? Yes, and that actually opens up something else. What did that open up? This one here. Presumably that's uh, something better. Anyway, that's... Oh, yep. Dead Bush is actually being up... is completed, and it's... we know that. I think that updates itself automatically. Now, somewhere or other, I've got the OSS submission station. Where has it gone to? Here we go. But before we do that, let's make a silky jet. Let's make this tool a silky tool. So this one's actually full. I can't do anything with this one at the moment. Unless I give it another modifier. That's what we got for modifiers in Tinker's Construct. I think it's a diamond and a block of gold, if I'm not mistaken. 
and we can then extend that. So, but first of all, let's make it silky. So let's look for a silky jewel, a silky jewel here. There's a lot of different mods in there. Items in. There's ten pages of it. That's probably a bit awkward. Let's just try for looking at uh, silky. Here we go. So we need one silky jewel, which is basically one emerald silk with four silky cloth, which is one gold nugget surrounded by string. Now what have we got for string? I think we need four eight thirty two string. And the quest has been updated. Let's just have a quick look at that one again, by the way. That was in Moon Trance. And you'll see here that it's, it's completed an unclaimed reward as well. I don't need to claim these rewards anymore. Just click the box and you get another one. So, that's night time. Oh yes, I've got the string out here, I think. 56. That's... Uh, probably got more string downstairs but I probably don't need it let's just make some nuggets of gold nine nuggets of gold that'll be fine so we just need half of those well we surround that by that will get four of those no problem good so let's now get a actually I need a block of gold and a diamond, I think, is what we need to add an extra modifier. If we're getting reasonable amount of diamonds at the moment, and an emerald. So we'll make this anyway. Whatever else we do, we'll make a silky jewel. Like that. And then we should be able to improve this tool. Where has it gone to? So here's this steel mattock. If I put the diamond in a block of gold, it gives me an extra modifier, I think. Which I can then put in here and then put the silky touch on it and then I get a silky modifier. There we go. Now the reason I want that is because then I can break this cursed earth. So let's get some dirt as well. I think we need some dirt. It's been a long time since I've made dirt actually. Now we've got 33, good. In fact, what we're going to do is also sleep through the... I'll put this away, don't need this. Now let's look for our hole as well. There's our steel hole. What a wonderful piece of equipment. Mother of all holes. Oh, I detected the fact they've got it. Okay. And it's been updated. So what does that mean? I don't actually know, to be honest with you. The so mother of all holes, I think, was not in stars align. I think it's in elements. Here we go. So we've got unclaimed rewards. So we can claim these 56. Let's do that. No, 5 times 64 MK storage. I don't know what we need it for, but I'm sure we're going to need it. So the last one, or the second to last one on here, is these separate. Well, we've got 98 tungsten plating. Now, we've actually got about 10 now, I think. I'll hold 10 of these. Let's have a look. I've got 9 in there. Let's craft another one of these. I don't think I'm going to try and do more than one at a time, because it needs... Actually, yeah, that might be okay. Let's let it craft. We'll get our tenth. And we're going to have to keep doing this all the time until I finish them off. I don't think I can do more than one at a time. If you do next, you see you're missing tin then. Now, I can extend the tin like I did with the uh, iron. I probably will have to do that anyway. So, RF submission station. Let's go and get ourselves some. Where do we put this thing? I reckon we just put it on. Is that an input or an output? Energy pylon. Oh, well, that must be the output one, mustn't it? Let's put this here. So now we can... Right, I think now we can do the, the different quests. So which quest do we want to do? Brave enough. Uh-huh. How do I get to the... Tr How do I get to the one I want? Do I have to select it in my thing? Let's do that then. Uh, it keeps coming back to that one. Good. 
So let's go back to that um, stars align and select stars crystallize, sorry, and select this one. And then click done. So now if I select this one, hopefully it's going to, I don't know what it's doing. Pain. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Has it got any power in this thing? No, oh, because you can't submit power to it at the moment, can you? Mm -hmm. I'm having a think <laughs> because I don't know what to do. No, we could try putting a power cable on this. How do I select tasks? Tell you what, let's do it the other way. Detect. Uh oh, just got a fatal error. So that's not so very good. I'll be back in a minute. Well, that's difficult. I can't get it to work. Every time I do it, it will crash the game if I select that thing. So I'm going to have to see if I can find a solution to that. I was trying different cables, see if it connected up. It doesn't seem to work, it's connected it directly now to this one. Hmm. Okay. So, what I'm going to... I don't know what to do. That was just a problem. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go and make the next part of this thing here. We need the gas turbine controller, don't we? So. Oh, not that one, sorry. Oh yes, we need to make these endearium to oh, that's going to be expensive. And that's what I was thinking about making with this endearium, wasn't I? I wonder how we're going to do this. I have an idea, and I think I'm going to do it differently. So what I'm going to try now, is I'm going to do the same thing as we've done before. Let's put this, let's put this steel hull away somewhere. How are we doing for space? Oh, we've got space for the time being. Let's put, oh, we've got this crafting storage components too. But I was putting away this, it was night. I was trying to make some more of these. Tungsten. I've got another one. Let's craft another one. And start that. And let's put these ones that we've got into this chest over here so we know roughly where we are with that one. We've got ten now, that's one tenth of the way there. Very exciting. Now, what do I need? I think I want to do it like this. We have got this export bus here. Let's put a Capacity card in here, I think. Nope, let's not do it that way. So if we set up our recipe, if what endearium ingots, I think the recipe's in here still, it is good. And put that into here, like this. So we've got tin, silver, platinum. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to expand that out. Or am I? Nope, I'm not. I'm going to put an ME interface on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to take this recipe. And I think I might have that. I've cleared it off. That was a problem, yes. Tell you what we'll do. We'll take an endearium ingot. Uh, oh, I've got it in the book already, haven't I? So let's go and take it out of the book because we've got all these materials and the book's not in there and I think this is just an empty one oh that'll do for the time being I think the other book's in here oh it's already there so I have an idea interesting that those are not getting removed probably because they decay over time I think that's probably what it's all about so now so we want uh, ender pearl, don't we? We want one of ender pearl. 
we want one blaze powder which we got lots of now because I got those all out we need some tin silver and let's put the dirt away while I'm thinking about it so we make some more space we don't need the nuggets neither we don't need the lever so we wanted tin silver and platinum didn't we so we want uh, was it 16 or 8 of those? I can't remember. 8, I think. Silver. That's silicon. I want silver. Platinum. We want carbon. Actually, we only need one carbon, don't we? And we want uh, sulfur. it was one sulfur let's double check that recipe now so it's 844 one end of pearl ah iron oxide that's the other one I'm missing it was eight carbon so let's take eight carbon have I got space for this oh I have of course I have I'm just messing around with this stuff here I was doing some automation on that one of those and we need some more carbon Let's put that one back and take eight. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is a different crafting recipe. Or a different interface recipe. And I think this will work. So it was silver. And it was eight silver, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was four silver. Four silver. Ah, oh, wrong recipe. I need to be processed mode for silver it was for platinum it was eight sulf uh, tin one ender pearl one blaze powder in fact I think the blaze powder goes at the bottom here then it was eight carbon. And sixteen um sulfur. I've only got one sulfur, let's get sixteen sulfur. Yes, that was right, because I was messed that up, I think I wanna think about it. That's sixteen, that's half that. And they go there. Let's write this pattern pattern down here. What? It won't let me write the pattern down because I haven't specified what's coming out of that. So what's coming out of that's an interior ingot. Not the first time I've done that, I'll be honest. Here we go. So we can then clear those things off. And I reckon, if we come along here and put into this, remove this export bus here, I put into that, instead of that, an ME interface. Have I got a flat one? No, I don't. I've got a spacer though. We can see that one. Let's just move this out of the way there. Can we get there some acceleration cards. That's good. So we want an ME interface. We want a flat one. Actually, let's do it like this. So it'll fit on the top here like that and I can't reach from it but I suppose I can just click it on that one and it goes the right way around so then I can put this recipe in here let's try it now let's see if we make what I think will happen is that these are these tins and the other silk uh, things will go straight through and and then get passed into here so we've got in here the book for oh we haven't got the book yet let's put the endearium ingot in here and let's see if that works let's see if we can make one to start with. Now there is two recipes for that, so let's remove the other recipe. That's the assembly table recipe here. And let's see now if we can make an endearium ingot. We've got 30 there, let's just change that to crafting mode and craft 2. So that's what it's going to generate, and they should, I hope, 
go straight through there and into this machine. What's happened? Well, it didn't work. But nothing came in here, here did it? Did we not get the ender pole in here? Carbon? Let's remove these items from in here and put everything that we don't need away. Because that should have come out there and I'm not sure why it hasn't done. I did specify iron oxide in that pattern, didn't I? Let's have a look at that pattern. I didn't specify iron oxide. Okay, we will now fix that. That's no big deal. Yeah, that's right. That looks better, actually, if I think about it. Because that the ender pearl makes two slots we haven't we need one of those in there like that and then we just simply take it out again and then this time we actually see this is actually updated should have updated it and when we have to press the button aha uh -huh, didn't update it where's the iron oxide gone now you press the button and then it updates it yes now you can see i've got the iron oxide in here so let's leave that there for the tapping and then come along here and try that again oh I need to put that into the machine of course into the interface I have put an interface on here and not something like a storage bus no I have got an interface on it good now that should be able to connect to this so let's try that again Let's craft two of these. Start. Seems to work in the sense that it's no, not complaining about anything. But nothing's coming into this chemical decomposer. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll remove this pattern here. I will remove the interface. I will try putting the interface on this side bit here. It's a bit awkward, I know, but let's just move. I suppose you think to move these two blocks in and get in. Then we can get it in this more easily. Three blocks. So let's remove this one. And put the ME interface on here. And then put that recipe in. Now what I'm hoping is it will actually export some stuff into that. So let's just try that again and have a look at what's going on with the crafting and cancel the two things out. There should be two recipes, good. Let's just try that again. Because it should work unless we're running out of power. We can check that actually, let's just check that now. We're using 1.2 and we've got 1.6, so we should be fine. I need to select a different tool, of course, and Ethereum. Let's craft two again. It's got two of everything, that seems to be correct. Start that. And that should go into this inventory. And nothing's coming in. Okay another idea we have ideas sometimes let's put down a nothing in there you see we just need another chest that's for oh, probably i haven't got one with me have i no there's probably chests around somewhere without I'm going to the system I just, maybe i've got one or two no i haven't got any there that one's in use no, I haven't got it just. Well, okay. 
we got wood. Oh, that's crafting only. Maybe I've got chests if I do it right. Okay, good. So let's try now putting this into a different type of inventory. Because this should work. I don't see why it's not working, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a block ME interface on here like that. Then we don't need to use any cables or anything like that. We can come to this one. Can reach it, it's difficult. Take that pattern out. And put the pattern in here. And just check what's got oh I can't open the chest, can I? Oops. That's not clever. So I do need to use a different type. So let's just change this one to a flat one. And put it on the side. If we can get to the side there's oh, we can just I could have put it down there, couldn't I? That's all we want. So everything has come into here. Fine, good. So what I could then do is to feed these out of here and put them into the decomposer. How are we going to do that then? That's probably in the way, so I'll probably have to move this out of the way. Let's do that. Magnets on, good. Interesting challenge, this one. So I want to basically move this up one here so I can put a cable here. Uh, we can move this, this crafting one here because that's not working anyway. I don't actually know why it's not working either, so there we are. And we could put the chest... Oh, I could put the chest not here. Well, I could if I moved a thing, a things across a bit, actually. I'm having a think. How am I going to arrange this? Maybe I'll just try it. Let's remove this... Oh. I haven't got enough space on things with me. I've got some more clock overclockers. Let's go and deal with those quickly. While I think. Oh, wrong one. You see, you can actually open that with an export bus, but you couldn't open it with an interface. Or oh, maybe it's the, f the fat interfaces it didn't work with. That's an pattern. Uh, we'll put those away in that away in the place pattern because we don't want those. Put the stealing away. Right, good. So let's just get the items out of here with a some item duct. Now I'll take the and the resonant one. So item ducts, we should have some of those around. Fifty uh, twenty-five got them on me. Good. What I would like to do is to put the chest what's this one doing? Oh, it's just a chemical decomposer. Let's put the chest here. Then we have to move everything up. That's no big deal, we've got plenty of cables, so let's just do that. And remove all this cable at the bottom. I do want these, I think. Ah, oh, yes, I need the other wrench to break these up. Let's just do that. Or take the ones from the top, whichever. I think, look, it looks better when it's from going down, doesn't it? Oh, it's not a wrench, not in there. Double check it. Other wrenches here. I think I can do it with this wrench, can't I? Oh no, I can't break them. Or maybe I'll just take this one away then. Right, good. So, what I'd like to do is to put the chest here now. But of course, when I break the chest, it's going to take everything with it. Let's just do that anyway. And put the chest here. Yeah, I thought I might not have space for everything. 
So let's put it down there like that. Let's put the ingredients into it. What do we need? Calm on that one. Okay, good. And then I'm going to feed those into the decomposer like that with a. Where's it gone to? A pipe. So I'll put a pipe down there. I'll put onto this pipe a resident servo. We'll just activate it. Because if I get this wrong, see these things coming through here, no problem. And all of those have got passed through there. And that should end up in here. Got some oxygen. Why have I got oxygen? What am I missing? You can never really... Has it not everything got through? Oh, look. All right, that's what I thought. Maybe that's what I need to do separately. Let's put these items into here. What am I missing? Oh, iron oxide. That was what's changed, isn't it? Okay. So we... Right, okay, that's good. I understand what to do now. I've only nearly got it right, not quite. So let's do it, let's fix this. Let's take that stack out to upgrade out of here and break this. Because all we need to do is add some more pipe down here like that. But I'll have to synthesize the iron oxide first of all. Let's just do that. Clear those two off. So iron should be here. And oxygen. So we should get our iron oxide back again like that and then we can put that into here and then that should synthesize the, the the thing when we put the when we put the book back bingo get two endearing ingots at a low cost so all we have to do now of course is to put the pipe down here like this doesn't need to feed into here you can remove that so we need it to feed in here now we even need a filter so basically what we need is a filter on here. So let's go and get a filter. Let's see they're in here, aren't they? And it doesn't need to be a very complicated filter, just a standard filter. So what we need in, out of this is actually a blaze blaze powder. Let's just, oh, I could do that anyway. So what we want is the blaze powder to go through here. Oh, I do need that to connect in there, don't I? But I need another thing. So let's put the filter on here like that. Filter. And what we're going to do with this filter, that's blacklisting. We want it to whitelist. So we want to whitelist enter pearls and blaze powder. So they go down. We need another server to come onto here like this. I don't have another resident, but I don't need it because there's less items in here. So another servo, we can use one of these reinforced. Oh, actually, well, I will get the blaze powder out of here before I start, and the end of pull. So now we can put into this filter these two. So they're, they're the things which are going to go down there. And then this is going to be an output. So we need this to be activated like that. We don't care what comes out of it, but it should all end up in here. So let's see if that works now. Let's take that stack and let's craft 10 start. Let's go see if that works. Well, it might do if I put... <laughs> what haven't I done? Well, I haven't put the ME interface on the top of this, have I? And then that ME interface, I need to put the recipe the wrong recipe where's it gone to oh it's probably down here still
that one. And there they go. So they're going through there. This is decomposing the ender pearls. And the blaze powders, they've come into here. Bingo, what? 12 endearium ingots. That is actually awesome because that's cheap. That's the cheapest way we're going to get this to work. But I'm going to have to say goodbye because that's the end of my episode time. Long, I've extended it again. I do apologize. Um, so until next time, I hope I can fix, figure out what's going on with this quest. Bye for now.